The day I was born was the day the world collapsed. Those that survived had to make new lives underground. Up above, there was nothing but ash and cold and death. People thought it would last forever, but without us up there, life returned. I was six years old the first time I saw the sun. Mom and Dad were heartbroken by what they saw. The world they'd known gone forever. But not me. I'd never seen anything so perfect. We weren't the only ones who'd survived, and slowly but surely, our little community grew. It wasn't always easy, but for a time, there was peace and prosperity. A new home, a new life, a new normal. But like all things in this world, it was too good to last. The highwaymen came from the east, led by a pair of sisters, twins. Said they'd heard about our little paradise. Said they wanted it for themselves. We never stood a chance. They took everything from us, our food, our homes, our people. We needed a miracle. And that's when we heard the name Thomas Rush. He and his captain had been up and down the West Coast helping folks like us rebuild. And they were on a train headed right through Hope County. Mom sent me to find them, convince them to help us take our home back. They were our last hope, our salvation. But it all went horribly wrong. Captain, you're alive! Jesus! They're heading this way! Get up, Captain! Come on, get up! What's the fucking highwaymen? They're gonna kill us! Get up, Captain, get up! Jesus, Barnes, you keep screaming like that, you're gonna bring them all down on us. Rush, you're alive! Help me! No, we have no time, we gotta go! Barnes? We are not leaving the cabin behind. They're coming fast. We need to stick together. Understood? Captain. Your time to shine. We need to get armed. We need to get our people. And we need you to find a way out of here. I know that. Easier said than done. One step at a time, Barnes. You lead, we'll follow. Oh my god. I thought it was dead. You need to find the armory wagon. You're up. Save as many people as you can.
Cut it out. I'm warning you. Get that out of my face. And all Fuck you're stupid and I am. See if you can string something you should get that stuff. You suck! Oh, damn it! Captain, we're alive. They're gonna finish us off if we don't find weapons to fight back.
Watch out! Bart! everybody. Santa delivered a whole damn train full of presents. Uh, what do we have here? Rabbit. Ooh. I gotta ask you rabbits a question. The fuck you think was gonna happen? Riding in on a giant hunk of iron, just clouds of black smoke. You think we would've noticed? What do you want, Barnes? We wanna know. If your problem solvers, a problem makes. What? <laughs> Our pops always told us that people either solve problems or make problems. The world's got too many fucking problems. And we're looking for people to help solve problems. Uh, our problems. If you're a problem solver, we got you covered. Food, clothes, guns. <laughs> Anything you need. <laughs> Even health insurance. <laughs> but if you make problems well, Pops taught us what to do with problem makers. Problem makers need to be solved. Mm -hmm. Old man solved a shit ton of problems in his day. Hell yeah. So, rabbits. Are you all problem solvers or problem makers? We solve problems. We've been solving problems all over this Barnes. country. We can give you fresh water, build shelters. We can get you anything you need. Barnes, shut up. You can build all that? Well, I'm not me. But Rush here. Well, then you are going to be our number one problem solver. Go fuck yourself. Huh. Okay. Try this again. You're gonna help solve problems for us, Mr. Rush? Hmm. Okay. Save yourself! <laughs> You from the train, you're captain of security, right? I'm Carmina. Oh my god, I saw you hit the water and I was able to pull you out before you drowned, but near as I can tell, I think we're the only ones who got away. Come on, 